Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to build a yeah, dark rock scene that I did in the last render. So it's a quick tutorial. I hope you like it. And um, yeah, let's go. This is the collection that I use. I really like it. So I hope you can uh, see it. And uh, yeah, as you can see, you can build some nice water and moody foggy scenes with it. It's really, really nice. I like it. So um, yeah, the assets that I did uh, or that I uses this one, this rocks here, and yeah, mostly I use uh, this rock texture here, as you can see, and um, yeah, just download a few of this, it's a really nice collection, you can use, yeah, all of these uh, rocks and bind them together, it's really nice, you have some references in here, but uh, all in all, we do something like um, this one, and now we hop into c 4 now we build a scene that looks like this, so it's really easy, you just uh, need some of the assets and um, yeah, we just built this uh, together in the in this tutorial. So let's start. For the start I use a plane, we just create a plane, make it bigger, it's really easy. Um, then I go to my, now I go to my asset library, I already prepared the uh, yeah, textures ready, so I just click on uh, these two textures. Now I'll show you how to get textures, it's really easy, you just uh, Download it in the Quixel Bridge, uh, in the Quixel, Quixel Bridge program on your desktop. Go for right click, go to files. Uh, then you have your files. You have the albedo. The I/O isn't. Yeah, you don't need that really. And you can. Uh, you also need to use the roughness, the normal, and the displacement. And for the node setup, it's really easy. You just uh, use the displacement here. P put it in a displacer or a displacement. To Trani, middle level to 0 0.5, go for the level of detail 4k, put the normal in the normal channel, the displacement in the displacement channel, also in the bump channel, and the roughness into the roughness and uh, put down the specular a bit. It uh, depends on how yeah wet it should look. It's uh, really easy to do. So this is how the node setup for every material is done. So we put this on here, go for something like cubic. In here, go for 0 0.5, 0 0.5, make it a little bit smaller. Now we put the uh, Octane renderer on here. Go for our camera, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0. Go a little bit more up, go a little bit more back, up. Go for something like 1 in here, maybe less so that's good and now you can move your camera by clicking the alt button and uh, middle mouse button and click and go for something like this you can also do it like something like this but i don't like this controls that much that's because i'm doing it with something like uh, the keybinds so really easy rotated it a little bit so now we have the problem that we have a really, we don't have a tileless texture, so uh, we do it oh, a little bit more bigger because of the detail. So we want to have it more of the maybe it's, uh, uh, 0.6. Okay, and for the tileless part, you just copy that, go in this here for 200, 200, and for this one, 200, 200 for the segments, press C, go for this placer. Drag this in here, go for noise, make the noise a little bit bigger, make the scale a little bit bigger. So and now you have some bombs in here. So yeah, and we also have a bottom plane here. So we keep the old plane, put the other material on it. So for the second texture we use this one. That looks really, really nice. So, but we also need a displacer for that, for a second plane. So we drag the displacer on here, drag on the noise, go for our other C, drag it more, scale it more up, and let it fade it, yeah, fade a little bit in here. So we have two textures. Maybe you go to the node setup and uh, change the color a, bit, a little bit, because we have a very, very dark ground and uh, the other stone is too bright so we drag in a color correction here go for more gamma 
more, make it do it more black like this one. It's a little bit too big. Maybe something like something like two. Yeah, that could be work. One point five. Yeah. Mm. yeah, we leave it for one. Okay. And then we drag it a little bit more down so we see the less. And then we drag in a third plane. Really easy. Oh, third plane, really easy. So we drag in the plane in here. And let's get it more down. So you can play with the height levels here. So you don't need it need to make it that much uh high. Maybe we try something like less on the second plane and a little bit less in here yeah perfect so it fades the uh yeah tireless part a little bit more out and we d you don't have uh that much of problems with the tailing part so then we create a simple specular material go for a little bit more index 1.5555555 and then we go for something like fake shadows. Go for path tracing. Make sure that you are in path tracing. Create a HDRI. And the HDRI part is really important. So the problem is you don't have yeah maybe you don't have this fancy HDRIs uh, that cost many many uh, much uh, of money. And uh, yeah for my for my. Uh, in my case, I can use uh, Ultimate Sky 12K texture that have um, the look of this one. So it's important you use a very cloudy, moody looking HRI, something, we we'll should do it something like 1.5, make it a little bit brighter. And yeah, now we have this look of this muddy, moody, foggy looking ground and it's, yeah, much indirectional light, not, uh, harsh sunlight i really like the look of that uh, you can also get some really good textures on poly heaven just search for that and you can find something like this one and it's a uh, yeah cloudy hri you just need to make sure that you don't have this uh yeah trees on it but you can also use something like this it's for free you just go to poly heaven and search for this one it's really easy so now we have this now we import uh now we import our uh, rocks, so I already showed which rocks I use, so I just import it, um, yeah, the texturing part is the same, you just need to drag in the right uh, textures, um, but it's important you don't use the, 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 the displacement part here, the displacement, or the displacement part is in the bump map, that works really good, and you don't need a displacement that just breaks your geomet geometry. So, for the rocks, you just make it a little bit bigger. It's important you set a specular mode on, so it don't need to look that wet. So now we have some brighter rock, uh, uh, darker rocks, and just drag it around, scale it, and place it like you like you like it. And um, yeah, just play with it a little bit and play some rocks and um, yeah, make the environment a little bit more fancy and yeah, just looking good how you feel it uh, and how you like it. It's, it's a personal, personal thing, how you like it the most. But um, yeah, that's almost everything. You just need to do something like this. And uh, if you want to put a character or something like this in it, or you yeah, want to render it out, you should add some uh, area lights to the scene and yeah, make some directional light uh, because it yeah, just have a HDRI for now and not a, a good bright light for uh, yeah lighting your scene so yeah just use something like this you can play with the temperature make it cold and you have this look and yeah you can also place a character or a light in it and uh, yeah use it for your composition it's really important to play with something like this but uh, yeah 
That's everything I play as a default cube in here. But yes, that's everything. This is the end of the video. I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope I show you correctly how you can do this. And um, yeah, you can use it for your renders and you can do it something like this. And uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe to this channel and uh, goodbye.